Hey YouTube, this is Production 1996 here. Uh, welcome to one of my first, um, I think it is the first, uh, firearms reviews that I've uploaded. Um, I've recorded a couple, but I haven't uploaded in a while, so. Um, this is the Ruger American, chambered in 7.62 by 39. Um, got a sling on there, Ruger sling. Um, I have a muzzle brake on there. I think it's uh, CRB. Oh, CMT muzzle brake on there. Um, and <coughs> I'm sorry. And a Monstrum scope or optic. Um, now I bought this rifle. Uh, this is a Christmas present to myself from myself. Um, I think it's four hundred fifty dollars. The site was. $199 and the sling was 30 bucks. Muzzle brake was another 80 bucks. And then I bought magazines for it. So here's my. I painted that on there. It's just a normal 30 caliber. Um, 30 caliber ammo box or ammo can. Military. Um, I bought two 10 round mags and it comes with a 5 round mag. Um, so this is the 5 round that comes with it. And I bought the legitimate Ruger magazines uh, because I wanted them to fit and feed correctly. Uh, the Pro, I think it's Pro Comp or something like that, makes uh, 10 rounds, 10 rounders, and everyone says that the last round doesn't feed um, correctly or at all. So I just wanted to um, This is the muzzle thread cover. Um, that's so you, if you don't want anything on the end of the barrel, you just put that on there. This is a crush washer. Uh, it looks pretty sweet. I like it. So it's the ranch version. It's shorter barrel length. Um, just handier to get in and out of the truck and ever just, ever just easier, right? A, handy, a nice handy rifle to have. Um, let's see. So I think it's cock on open. At least that's what it feels. Yeah, it's definitely cock on open. Um, so there's the... I've shot it. I've shot it probably 50 times now. I sighted it in. It is very accurate. Um, so there's the magazine well. That's the magazine release. Let me take this bolt out. Which... I wish I could show you, but I do not have a tripod because it is my phone. So let me try. So you pull the bolt back and then you push that. Uh, where is it? And then you push here. Yeah, do that. And you just pull the bolt out the back. It's kind of like a Mauser, but instead of lifting that thing up, uh, it's got three locking lugs and a serialized bolt, uh, firing pin, extractor, all that fun stuff. Uh, this back piece is plastic right here. There's the cocking. Um, tells you that it's cocked. That little square thing sticks out the back. Sorry, my phone is being a pain in the ass and not... And to put it back in, you just slide it forward. Uh, the safety's right here. So on fire, and we can see the trigger pull. It's got a trigger safety because this is a very light trigger pull. So uh, I think they said it comes from factory four pounds, but you can loosen that. You can uh, make it lighter too, to two pounds. Um, there's just a set screw on the inside. You gotta take the uh, stock off, and then uh, and then you can change it. So I've got three types of ammunition. I've got my hunting, the soft tip, and then I've got hollow points and regular ball. Um, and I keep those in this. These are this is surplus stuff, and this is new. Um, my brother actually bought me the new 
ammo for Christmas. Um, but I've got a decent amount of the uh, surplus. Uh, we also bought my father a uh, Ruger American chambered in two two uh, twenty two, not two two three. So this is the Ruger American in twenty two. It's got that little box magazine, the Sidewinder magazine. That want, it's like a revolver magazine, and then we put the different uh, butt stock up there, which. Actually, here is the original buttstock piece, so that would go there if you didn't have a scope. This the iron sights on this are very nice. Um, here's the other one. I think the scope was like eighty bucks, um, but that's just for squirrels. <clears throat> so I have one in seven sixty two by thirty nine. My brother has one the full length version in two two three, and then my dad. We just got on that in 22, so every every man in the family now has a Ruger American, which we actually do some work with Ruger at work. Um, we sell uh, inspection quality control machines, and they buy some. Well, they actually they're a pretty good customer. They buy a decent amount of them. Um, so we get a discount with Ruger if we go through them, but. MSRP was like 600 bucks or something like that, and I bought it for 450 from a gun shop. New. This is new in box. So, with that discount, it would have been like a gun store buying it. Uh, and then I'd still have to ship it to a gun store because you can't. You gotta ship it to NFL. Um, so, the five round mag fits real nice. Uh, gotta push the mag release because it is spring loaded. So, 5-round mag fits super nice in there. These 10-rounders are really tight. Like, very. It's very tight. And you can see this is down, so it's not locked in. It's just the friction of it. So, I may have to bend this in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's the uh, new addition. I mean... I like the gun overall. I shot it. It fires really nice. It shoots a flame like this long. Um, that's why I put the muzzle brake on there, flash hider. Um, the only problem, the only thing I don't like about it is this stock could definitely be finished a lot better. Like, it's there's a casting flash on the outside. It's really sharp. Um, I don't know if you can see on this, but it is like stupid sharp. And then there's a big casting flash down the back of the stock. They could have cleaned that up a lot nicer. Like uh, the 22 has this nice little notch out here for the ejection port. And it's just really, it's a nice finish. There's no uh, casting flash back on the back here. I mean, that's a nice stock. And then you come over mine. I mean, there's not even a cutout here. It's just really sharp. It looks like they forgot to put this in the end. And a big casting flash there. It looks pretty ridiculous. But uh, I'll probably take it to work and deburr it with a, just a little whirly gig. Um, it's got a nice padded buttstock too. Very nice um, padded buttstock. It shoots It shoots like a really nice rifle. I mean, this is my first legitimate, like, accurate, nice rifle that's new. Because I have a Car 98. And that's old. It's somewhat accurate, but it's iron sights and I mean, yeah. <laughs> but uh, speaking of iron sights, this doesn't have any, so you need a scope. And this is a very nice scope. Let's see if I can hold a gun with my chin, hold the phone with my hand, and then turn it on. So it's got green and red. Let me zoom in. So it's a one to six scope. Let me see if I can get a sight picture here. There we go. All right. So you see it's red. And then you got green. The green's a lot duller than the red. I like the red better. But, uh, yep, one to six scope, which is decent. Um, 
It's basically a rifle for protection, like on a ranch or uh, in the woods, you know. I have the AK for uh, high volume protection. <laughs> um, but yeah, that will be all for now. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I also I bought a new truck. I sold the Jurassic Park Jeep. I didn't do a full video on that, sadly. I think I did. I might have recorded one, but I never uploaded it. But I sold it. I got a decent amount of money for it. So I bought a CUCV, an M1008, uh, which I will do a video on. It's got a 3-inch lift and 36s, um, which I'll do a video on when it gets warm. It was negative 9 here yesterday, so I'm not about to do a video on that. Um, but I just ordered some light bars for it, or light one light bar and two light pods for the rear. Um, so maybe when it's in the shop, in my shop, I'll uh, do a video on it. I'll walk around because it's really nice. Starts super nice. Um, drives really smooth, nice. Uh, the guy did it correctly, the lift and everything that and all that. Um, tires really nice. Uh, a lot of tread left on them. He gave me three spares, so there's two in the bed, which looks pretty sweet. He gave me a winch, a 12,000 pound winch. Um, so yeah, it'll be a fun toy um, and winter and weekend vehicle while I drive my Mustang, which I'll do an update video on my Mustang. That's actually at the shop. I leave that there so we could plow our driveway uh, when it snows. But yep, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me how you want if you want more uh, videos like this. The firearm videos, I got an 80% lower for Christmas for my brother too, so I'll probably build that, and then I'll do a video on it done. Um, but yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Thanks for watching.